Despite repeated calls for her resignation, including from her fellow board members, Edgewood Independent School District Trustee Dina Serrano refuses to step down. The fallout from her Facebook post last month that showed a man with his head in a noose continues. As our Dylan Collier reports in this Defenders update, Serrano's continued presence on the board has cost the district donors and a partnership with a prestigious mentorship program. <laughs> We are in a time where things like this are unacceptable. On June 29th, as a district spokeswoman read dozens of email comments from the public and members of the community addressed her in person, the target of the backlash, Edgewood Independent School District Trustee Dina Serrano, sat silent. Serrano's only comment that day was that the community elected her and she wouldn't be stepping down. This post on Serrano's Facebook page, Father's Day weekend, showed her husband with his head in a noose and their two children pulling on the other end of the rope. Emails handed over by the district after a records request from the defenders show that it's Edgewood students who are now paying the price for Serrano's behavior. A volunteer for its higher learning counseling efforts says she contacted every college network she is part of, along with regional admissions officers, alerting them to Serrano. Donors have also stepped back. I've gotten to know the community members as well as the uh, administration, and I know that she does not represent any of them through these racist actions. Public relations executive William Long, who has donated everything from his time to school supplies the past several years, called the post racist and said Serrano's response since it became public has been terrible. While I do look forward to supporting Edgewood ISD in the future, my company, as well as others, refuse to do business with Edgewood ISD until Dina Serrano resigns and or is removed from office. Perhaps the biggest loss for the district due to Serrano's post so far, the decision by leadership of the historic black fraternity Kappa Alpha Psi to pull out of a mentorship program that had been years in the making. 85% of students in the Guide Right program go on to attend four-year institutions. But the San Antonio director of the program wrote that Serrano's actions did not sit well with the group's morals and values. For the Defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Serrano did not respond to repeated requests for comment for this story. She was publicly censured and removed as board vice president late last month, but the trustees do not have the power to remove her from her position outright.